So thank you. First of all, I would like to thank all the organizers of the conference. I think it's a really cool conference. The spirit is really like we are a little family. It's really kind. So I have here 10 minutes to talk about some softwares I'm editing and publishing on GitHub. GitHub, sorry for that. Uh, so it's uh, entirely written in Python. Some of them in, is, are, are using C types. So that's for my colleagues. Uh, it's mostly libraries uh, targeting to telecommunication systems. So everything is available on GitHub. So the first library is called Card. It's uh, done in order to communicate with mostly uh, SIM and U SIM cards, so the SIM cards that, that you have in your phones. So basically, it's putting nice function names on APDUs that are transmitted to the SIM card. So you can read the whole SIM. There are also some nice functions that you can be used, like for, for example, to brute, brute force the file system of the SIM card and check if you have any special like uh, proprietary files on your SIM with access control that you have to grant to access the content and so on. Uh, there are also scripts uh, to personalize, um, like blank SIM cards that you can uh, buy from the Sysmocom shop, which is a shop in Germany uh, run by the people making the Osmocom project. Um, the second library is, is called CryptoMobile. It's the one uh, using C types because there are some C implementation of the um, uh, cryptographic algorithm which are used in mobile networks, so basically in 3G in four and 4G networks. And they are wrapped into Python in order to be called easily uh, into the, 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 the rest of the library. And so there are three different algorithms in Python. There is also uh, the CMAC mode of operation for IES, which is implemented on top of PyCrypto. Uh, there is also the MyLineage uh, algorithm, which is implemented. It's the authentication algorithm, which is used uh, between the HLR or HSS uh, in the mobile network operator and your SIM or your SIM card within your phone. So this library is, is uh, of really uh, good use if you have to to work with um, uh, mobile um, uh, mobile network protocols. The third one which is actually the, bigger, the biggest uh, library. It's a, a bit like also a, a trash library because I put everything that I don't, I don't know where to put, I put it into LibMish. Uh, that's uh, because of this, that, that's the name of the presentation. Uh, basically, in the beginning, it, it was inspired from SCAPI, uh, but I had to deal with a net network protocol that were not like stacked, like uh, IP protocol with a header and payloads. And so I implemented a lot of um, mobile telecommunication oriented protocol, like the, the second bullet, it's listing GTP protocol, um, layer uh, like LabDM, which is for GSM. Then you have the um, uh, radio resource control, mobility management, call control, SMS, uh, session, um, SS is for uh, supplementary services, uh, GPRS mobility management, and so on. Uh, there is also uh, the UICC secure channel if you want to talk with a SIM card, uh, which is using the secure channel uh, protocol. You have also little implementation. So it's basically it's only uh, decoders and encoders, which are provided here for IEEE protocols. Uh, some files format are, are also supported like the, some um, picture files and image and video. So running those protocols was not enough in order to really interoperate and interwork with the um, telecommunication networks. Uh, within those networks, you have plenty of protocols which are uh, specified with ASN1 syntax. So I implemented actually a tiny ASN1 compiler within the library and BER and PER uh, codex. Uh, the second one, it supports aligned and unaligned uh, encoding. So PER is bit by bit, and the unaligned uh, says that everything is packed bit by bit, and aligned one says that sometimes you put some bits of padding, but sometimes not. And you have a lots of protocols like the RRC are the protocols that are run by all your mobiles to connect to a base station in 3G and 4G. Then you have other kind of protocols like RANAP, 
on S1 AP, X2 AP, which are used between base station and core network in mobile networks. You have like also PCAP LPP, which are protocols uh, for localization management into mobile network. And finally, there are some support for MAP, which is used uh, between mobile core networks, between operators and so on. And uh, there is an ongoing support for TCAP, but it's not uh, really working yet. There are also other kind of uh, stuff uh, feeding this library, like DFLMAN, CRC, some uh, pseudo-random function from uh, uh, the, the NIST and so on. There is also some funny function like the string for shifting string. Um, <laughs> it, it's really useful, actually. I'm using it a lot. Huh? Finally, within this uh, garbage collecting uh, library, I've put some uh, extended function, like uh, some function to run an MME, which is part of an LT core network. There is also an HSS-like for generating authentication data for USIM cards. Uh, there is something which handles uh, user traffic, which is encapsulated within the GTP protocol inside mobile network. There is also an SMS handler, which is maybe not committed yet, but will be committed uh, uh, soon. And everything together, actually, it powers uh, a newly, uh, it's actually not a library this time, it's a complete application, which is an LT core network in a single Python script. <laughs> it's called Cornet. So it's actually what you see on the right side, uh, where, with the Cornet name, it's uh, so it's driving uh, LT base station. So you need uh, inodebs LT base station. So it's not something you can buy easily. Maybe you can go to Alibaba and find some. And then you need LT terminals and you seem that you can customize, or actually personalize. And then you have a running LT network. And from the core network, which is what I like, is that everything is running within IPython. So I have um, actually an interpreter, which allow me to dynamically change every parameters of the core network and access and interact with the handset, which is connecting through the base station. So basically, that's it. Thank you for your attention. Just would like to thank also my employer for allowing me to release uh, all this open source stuff and uh, also a call here because I have few people which are re requesting me uh, stuff uh, by email, but I have not much uh, contribution or extension uh, proposal. Uh, some few re uh, experience report. And what is also cool is to get uh, captures or pick up from real network in order to implement better decoders and encoders. Okay, thank you all.